It's Crash. We back on Undisputed, at least to test out the patch update. But in this video, we're, we're gonna be going over the patch notes. In the next video, we'll be doing the patch update. But yeah, we back. Um, yeah, I come around every patch notes, you know, every patch update, every big patch update, I show up, test out the new fighter, fighter check out the new venue, see what they've added. You know, it's early access, this isn't an official game. I turned my fan off for, just turned it off maybe, not even four, a minute ago, and it's already getting hot. I might turn it back on, I'm sorry, y'all, it, it's hot. Anyway, okay, let's start. The Big Daddy update, new slip mechanics, new fighters, new venues, and more. I actually just had to happen to go take a dookie right before I was heading to bed, and then I saw the Discord notification that the update was out, so I was like, what? So I kind of read a few of these patch notes, and the first one I got hyped for, I'm like, gotta save it for the video. We reacting like this, we gotta save it for the video. But yeah, so some of the stuff I did already read already, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna tell you what, I'll just let you figure it out. But alright, let's get into it without further ado. Hey fight fans, this update brings three exciting new fighters, two new minions, a new diagonal dodge, and more. Oh man, we got a new we got a new slip in here. I'm pretty excited to see how what they're gonna do with that. A new move, a new pretty cool they're adding new mechanics to the game as it goes. Like nothing is official. This is such an early stage of the game because we begged for it. And the majority of you are shitting on it. Do you realize we asked for this? This game is nowhere near done. They just gave this to us to shut us up. They were nice enough to give us a game that wasn't finished. Put their whole freaking reputation on the line. And it's not even that bad of a game if you understand boxing. There's some cheese to it, of course. But anyway, I'm sorry. Let me read the patch notes. This isn't... <laughs> I should do an undisputed rant video, huh? Carl Frampton added to the game. Frampton joins the bantamweight and featherweight divisions. Check out his roster profile here. Actually, let's do that. I did not do that. <clears throat> All right, now. Oh, I thought I was going to show his traits and shit. I'm not going to lie. Take me back. How do I go back? Bro. Am I first of all? Okay. You made me break a mo immersion. I'm not even talking right. Look, they got me flustered. The fuck, man. Anyway, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I got nothing to say. Riddick Bow added to the game. You know, Riddick Bow. That boy is a beast. Oh, um, and obviously the heavyweight division. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be trying him out. Yeah, uh, that's what the next video is. It's just gonna be trying out all the new fighters. Zu Khan added to the game. Zu joins the featherweight and lightweight division. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. The only one I'm really, I know Carl Frampton, I know the name, but the only one I'm familiar with on here is Riddick Bow. That's the only one I know on here. Can't even remember the nigga's middle name though. I'm a fraud. People just probably left. Why did I say that? Transparency gets you nothing. Added 7C. Added C7 hangar, large aircraft hangar, hangar located along the western coast of the United States that has been converted into an event hall. Okay. Added Falcon Bay, a venue set in the open square of an old cobbled Medi Mediterranean town at sunset. Dude, they'd be having some weird ass places, bro. Gang plane chances. Gang plane chances, okay. Implemented a new movement mechanic to help players close the gap and make inside fighting a more viable options Which I love as a Ricky Hatton player man because I love getting on the inside and doing me some inside fighting with him Fighters can now dodge diagonally forward right and forward left Which we hope will make a big impact. Is that like a, a you sway? Oh, you used to be able to just slip now you can just go to the left My mouth fell on the floor. I'm sorry and then it reset with my ghetto ass setup. Okay, um, so which will help make a big impact improve fighting on the front foot for fighters like Frazier, Porter, okay, and Marciano. Okay, you can activate the, yeah, so this is for people, pressure fighters you can get on the inside. You can activate the diagonal dodge by holding the front right bumper, R RB for me, and then flicking your left joystick up or down. So hold RB and push it up or down. So up will probably go right or something like that, or depending on where you at. 
we enabled stance switching and online play, which means play fighters like Usyk can now switch stance from southpaw to orthodox in online fights, and Bud Crawford switch uh, stances by pressing the right arrow and controller. Oh, that's huge, okay? Because they had that in single player, but it was never online. Improve the stance switching animation. It probably looks sick now. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. All right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I've been waiting for that. Now we just need illegal blows. They just need to add illegal blows online. All right. Adjusted how all boxers enter weave blocking to be smoother. Okay, okay. Expanded trait system to include three separate levels for each trait, increasing a fighter's abilities at each level. You will start to see additional fighter trait level adjustments and updates moving forward. Okay, so let, me, let me read that again. Expanded trait system to include three separate levels for each trait. Oh, so like six round, you activate this part of the trait. Okay, I think that's what they mean. Someone in the comments, please let me know. Okay, I read that already. I'll just reread it again in my head. Stamina. Ma maximum stem drain for base punches increased by 10%. Base punches, so you lose stem. Damn. So just regular punches is just gonna, it's gonna be a 10% more effective drain. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I fight for 10 rounds. I know how to use my shit sparingly. I don't get tired. Stem can no longer drop below 30%. Don't like that. I like punishing the dudes who like the exhaust and just hell throw haymakers in the first five rounds, especially if they don't quit. Damage, the damage this is what y'all been crying a lot about on Discord and Reddit. Swelling resistance curve has been adjusted to allow for more damage to take place. Swelling resistance curve has been adjusted to allow more damage to take place. Swelling resistance curve. Oh, I guess they turned down the thing to, or they turned up the amount of swelling that could happen. Cut resistance curve has been adjusted to allow cuts to appear. Okay, cool. And yeah, it does not get that bloody. I will allow, I will, I won't, I mean, I will agree with you guys. I don't really care about the, the damage to a high or 12 rounds. I'm a little point fighter. But, I mean, I do care about the damage to an extent. There's been times where I should have knocked the dude out and he dropped me because I ran out of stamina because the dude was just eating punches and not dying. But yeah, um, I still blame myself for that though, at, at the end of the day. Okay, um, increase the damage done at a lower stamina value to make the fights more engaging. Okay, fine with that. So the lower the stamina, the more damage can be done. Ah, something works for me. Increase swelling chance by 10%. Okay, well, that's what I thought they were saying about swelling resistance curve. But whatever, I think I know what that means now. That like, it's, it won't be as hard to have swelling occur. But that is whatever, man. Damage cap. The, the maximum damage a single punch can do has been significantly increased, which means Deontay Wilder should actually be Deontay Wilder here now. Meaning that punches that combine a range of damage multipliers, for example, power punch landing in a critical zone, landing a counter punch, can now do more damage than was previously possible. I remember you guys asking for that. I think that was something that needed to be added. I can agree with you guys on that one. I usually don't agree with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Most of you. The ones who came from, all right, we're not gonna start a war. The minimum damage each punch can do has been increased, so it's now 10% below base level. Has been increased, so it's now 10% below base level. I don't know what that part means. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real, okay? Power punch damage increased for hooks and uppercuts. Hell yeah, hell yeah. General changes. We've added an experimental instant replay system for knockdowns and knockouts. I've been asking for that, man. This is currently disabled by default and is only available for offline play. Players can choose to enable instant replays in the games and video settings. This is the first iteration of replays in Undisputed and we'll continue to work to improve it for future updates. So please let us know your feedback if you choose to use replays. I'm gonna have to be quiet. Somebody's about to pop, probably interrupt me in a second. Or I'll just cut it out to be honest. So if there's a split in here, Somebody interrupted my video. Okay. Updated the boxer's sweat visual effects when getting hit. Okay. Some graphical enhancements too. Let's go. Some aesthetics. Adjust the sweatiness levels across multiple boxers. AI changed that never played the AI. AI on this people difficulty should now feel more aggressive across all fight styles. Okay. Right. I'm getting a little dry. Let me take a little drink. Fighter changes. Joe Frazier introduced a leaping left hook animation to replace places step for left hook. So they're giving these guys signature moves now. 
That's pretty sick. Tommy Morrison, speed improvements to left hook and step forward left hook animations. Left hand power increased from 95 to 96. Hook modifier increased from 92 to 93. Floyd Patterson, Rocky Marciano, Roy Jones, and Adam Hamed updated the idle animations when in loose movement. Okay. Terrence Crawford updated shorts to have stitching on the nameplate. To hold camera. They did a grip of updates or a grip of uh, buffs or whatever you want to call it. Tweaks to her. Overall increase from 86 to 88. Body resistance increased from 83 to 86. Accuracy increased from 85 to 88. Stamina increased from 84 to 88. Endurance increased from 86 to 89. Body health increased from 84 to 87. Head health increased from 86 to 88. Health increased from 84 to 87. Okay. I knew Deontay after this update. I knew Deontay Wilder was going to get get some tweaks. Tra traits have been upgraded to the new level three variant to make it more powerful. Increased speed of head hooks, and straight punches. Yup. Uppercuts and body hooks replaced with punches. We believe are a better fit. Uppercuts and body hooks. They do look terrible on him, and he do not be throwing these type of things. So yeah, that's interesting. Lots of new stuff to try out. Okay, they did they nerf this guy because he was a fucking arcade character. He was a video. Game. I know it's a video game. This is simulation, as they say, supposed to be. But this dude was arcade, like he was a cheat code. I can't even play him because it's not fair. Overall decrease from 87 to 85. Guarding decrease from 87 to 85. Courage decrease from 86 to 83. Block health decrease from 83 to 81. Block region decrease from 86 to 80. This is a, they just nerfed him as he should have been. Agility decreased from 92 to 90. Movement speed decreased from 91 to 89. Punch speed decreased from 90 to 89. Accuracy decreased from 95 to 92. Stamina decreased from 85 to 80, from 86 to 85. Stamina recovery decreased from 87 to 84. Endurance decreased from 86 to 85 straight modifier decreased from 92 to 90 has anything been increased These are all decreases counter punch modifier decreased from 95 to 90 body health decreased from 90 to 88 this must be like current roy jones now one who just fought like last friday like, like thursday i don't know dude fought like buff dude i, I didn't watch i forget it was in the metaverse too i just seen the highlights it was crazy Made improvements to our online network. Players should now experience fewer decent online issues. We that was a thing. That was a weird thing. While it should feel improved, there's still more work to be done to ensure it's in a place we're happy with them. The work is ongoing. We'll continue to ship improvements when they're ready. Bug fixes. Okay. All right. I just want to see how much we got left. Not that I was in no rush. Fix an issue with Daniel Jacobs' model that was causing him to T post and fighter select. Adjusted the targeting zones and Joe Calzag is close up left and right hooks as they were pre previously mistargeting and aiming too high. That's cool. Set my mouse down. I thought I burp. Well, I did burp, but it wasn't as big as I thought it was. Um, uh, adjusted Joe Calzaghi's loose idle animation so that he no longer slightly floats off the canvas. Fix an issue that was causing the box's muscles to not look correct. Fix an issue with Tommy Mar Mar uh, Morrison was Marth guard will load in during the tail of the tape. Who weird. Fix an issue where the tutorial wasn't finishing after get up mini game co completion. Fix an issue where commentary wouldn't play correctly after the first knockdown. Fix an issue where the achievement the real hitman wasn't locking even after meeting the requirements. Fix an issue where the trainers could appear in the wrong corner during the recovery cutscene. Fix an issue where the audio wouldn't play correctly during tail of the tape and announcing cutscenes when uh, choosing Joe Calzaghe. Fix an issue when some prize fights could have the wrong fighters including during the announcer cutscene. Fix an issue where there was no commentary in tail of the tape and ring walk cutscenes when selecting Adam Hamad or Lee McGregor. Fix an issue where two co uh, commentary lines would play at the same time when the fight is won via Dr. Stoppage. Fix an issue where boxers continuously move in the same direction when a flash knockout occurs. Fix an issue where the lunge and left hook would move the boxer if performed after a right hand punch. Fix an issue where the ropes in Santiago Gym would disconnect from the dividers with the boxer. I had no idea any of this happened. Fixed punch ripple effects not resetting correctly. Fix the issue where the game would not transition seamlessly from the cover cutscene to the results cutscene if the player surrenders. Fix an issue where the results cutscene would snap the camera to ringside plan out. Just as the shorts for all box to behave correctly when in cutscenes. Fix an issue. Fix the issue. Fix the issue where the AI wouldn't block correctly. All right. I'm probably gonna throw this video up.
as my little reaction to it and then i'm gonna be live on twitch um recording footage to test out the new stuff and make a second video just to milk it i will be real so appreciate you guys we back on undisputed i know there's a few of you here who probably been waiting for this um, we're gonna get some gameplay going be on the lookout for that literally within the next six hours I'm about to do a stream for about two three hours and then upload that Yeah, I'm gonna upload this one first and then we'll be in there. So give me a second Appreciate everybody watching um, See you on the stream. It's SB crash on twitch I'll put it in the description and whatnot I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere over here or something Not sure yet, but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here like and comment subscribe when not tell me what your favorite update is this is a pretty good looking update though i'm trying to hurry up and get up out of here and test it out so yeah let me shut up and talk just remember boys to trust the process we out